Muslim growing beard prone to more suspicion. Further, he said that uh, this was the same with the Sikhs during uh, 15 20 years back. Now it is opposite to us. I couldn't answer to this. The brother posed the question that in today's world, if a Muslim grows a beard, he's prone for more suspicion. For what? Suspicion that he's a true Muslim and I want to be a true Muslim. That so someone says that I have grown a beard and I'm following Islam, I'm a fundamentalist. So I said, I'm a fundamentalist. A fundamentalist is a person who follows the fundamental of any particular subject. And if you hear my answer, which I've given in many of my talks, that if a person has to be a good doctor, and you say that if he puts a cross, he's prone for suspicion to become a doctor, good, alhamdulillah. So doctor to prove himself is a doctor, he'll put a cross on his car. Oh, don't put a cross on the car, because that means you're prone for being suspicion that you're a doctor. So doctor is proud to be a doctor, therefore he puts a DR in front of his name. Similarly, me by growing a beard, I'm proud to be a Muslim, I want to identify being a Muslim. But I know that the media today is maligning Islam. They're picking up some black sheep of a community and they're portraying them as though they're merciless people, that they're terrorists. What we have to do, we have to grow a beard, wear a cap and prove to them that this Muslim is here, who's honest, who's not a terrorist. We don't terrorize innocent people. So, so you say, okay, this has become a bad label the beard and the cap. Now, I will prove, I will keep a beard. Why? Because the Prophet said that. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 7, Hadith number 7, 80 and 81, that Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. He said, that the Prophet said, that do the opposite of what the pagans did. Trim your mustaches and grow your beard. It's a command of the Prophet, we do it. It's a label. We are proud to identify ourselves as Muslims. Believe me, I have this beard and this cap, I have traveled throughout the world, Alhamdulillah. Gone to America also, even after 9-11. Gone to UK, gone to Australia, gone to Canada, you name the country, most of the Western countries have been there. And I'm happy that they suspect me. The moment they suspect me, I have a positive for doing dawa. Dr. Zakir Naik, do you believe in jihad? I said, yes, I believe in jihad. Even Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, believed in jihad. Jihad means to strive and struggle. No, no, Dr. Naik. Do you believe in fighting? I said, Jesus can't believe in fighting. He said, take a sword and go and fight. In the book of Numbers, in the Gospel of Luke. So this way, it gives me an opportunity. I don't want to do the same thing, otherwise you've been a problem. You should know your stuff very well. So the thing is that even when I went to USA in Customs and Immigration, they asked me a question, and I like it. I said, abhi acha opportunity, meri dawa karne ke I'm happy. So with this beard, it gives me a chance to do more dawa, so I have more chance for me to go to Jannah. Correct? Because I know my stuff very well, Alhamdulillah. I know my religion well. I'm a practicing Muslim, why should I be afraid? So then they have, ah, tonight, good Muslims. At least now their view of Muslims have changed a little bit. Whether 2%, 5%, 10%, 90% depends upon how well you speak. So you tell me one thing, can this beard even harm a fly? So, suspension of what? This cap, can it harm anyone? No. I've given the talk on if the label shows your intent wear it. And I've given various logical proofs, etc., why a person should wear a cap and put a beard. Logical and Islamic reason. Hope that answers the question.